Melinda and I left Flagstaff April 11th and drove up to the Grand Canyon National Park. We had reservations for five nights in the Trailer Village campground that provided full hookups for our RV. Before we left, we loaded propane and fueled up. It's a good thing we did since gas near the park was over $4 and the night temperatures dropped into the 20s. Even with our four blankets, sometimes we were running the propane furnace at night. We also had winds in the 20s, gusting to over 30 most of the time. This blew up a persistent cloud of fine dust throughout the canyon that degraded our viewing a little. But afternoon temperatures were in the 60s and perfect for hiking along the ridge and up and down the canyon trails. The next morning we took a jeep tour. The best thing about the tour is the guide who pointed out and explained what we were seeing. While the brochure photos show the jeep going off-road, the tour is just on the paved road east of the visitor center. So, the value of the tour is the guide and the novelty of riding in an open jeep. Here we are at the Green Canyon Watchtower, enjoying a really nice morning. A little bit brisk, but perfect really. Nice temperatures, dry, sunny. Great views of the Green Canyon. This is really where the canyon starts to get deep because over here it's cutting, the river is cutting through, you know, some really hard rocks, some granite and some schist, some of the hardest rock out there. Well, it's all this like super bright orange stuff and all the, the blacker and browner stuff over here is a very, very, very soft sandstone. Pick a warm day. Here we are near the visitor center. First major introduction, my name is Ranger Christie. If you have questions during the program about geology and rocks, That's you can it. ask them. If you ask me where the glass bridge is, I get to kick you off the program. <laughs> and it's at my discretion which way I kick. What are you doing, girl? We were surprised by the abundance of animals right around the campground and visitor center. We saw several elk and mule deer. While the rangers constantly warned us about elk charging if you got too close, they seemed completely comfortable with being close to the humans. One of the mule deer even walked right up and nosed my camera. The next day we took the smooth water river raft trip. We are going to motor up the river. Oh. So it would be a little bit chilly to make sure to go to Petro's Beach, check out the Petro Glyph, and then float down a little bit to Lunch Beach where we'll eat lunch. It's a pretty nice beach, restrooms, and a small trail you can walk. Again, my expectations were not quite met. The raft trip was in Glen Canyon, not Green Canyon. And we were supposed to be bussed up to Lake Powell Dam, but the road had collapsed. So our bus ride went to the drop-off point instead of the dam. We motored up the river towards the dam, stopped to see some petroglyphs, and then drifted back down to the drop-off point. Hey Dad, come over here. Watch and watch and watch. What kind of lizard is that? It's not a true horn. I know that. What are you doing? I'm taking pictures of you eating. I'm not eating. You're not. The sights were still quite spectacular and well worth the trip. Be sure to bring a waterproof jacket. The next day we decided to do a little hiking. The head of the Kaibab Trail is an easy bus ride from the visitor center and offers a good hike. 
It starts at the rim and continues down into the canyon with rest stops at 1.5 and 3 miles. The views from the trail are beautiful, although some parts are a little scary. Here's Melinda stopping to help another pair of hikers take a photo of themselves. Take a look over this edge. Here we are uh, halfway down the South Kaibab Trail and uh, taking a rest and probably turning around here. It's about, I'd say 2,000 feet down from the rim and uh, it goes all the way 5,000 feet down to the Phantom Ranch. Um, so uh, we're not quite that adventurous. A pack of mules came up from the Phantom Ranch down by the river carrying their passengers. They mounted a GoPro on the head of the lead horse and another on the rider hoping to capture something of the experience. Riding a donkey looked like something I could do going up but definitely too scary for me going down. The hike back to the rim was a little harder but still doable for young and old. We had a great visit to the canyon. The crowds were moderate during the weekend and late on the weekdays this time of year. Even though it was very cold at night, the days were pleasant and perfect for hiking. The sights are amazing. You must find a good viewing spot and get up to see the sunrise and sunsets to get a full appreciation of this place.